Chongqing, the hot pot capital of China, owns a hot pot restaurant almost every 200 meters on average. Chongqing people have a bold and vigorous temperament, and they have even set a Guinness World Record for enjoying hot pot with 1,000 people. Whether it's midday under the blazing sun or dawn in the dim lights, the smell of spicy butter hot pot is always wafting down the street, attracting local diners for a feast. Sudoku hot pot is a unique way to enjoy spicy hot pot in Chongqing. It divides hot pots into three levels: the cross grids, the corner grids, and the center grid. The temperature and chili oil concentration in each grid varies. Cut the ingredients into different thicknesses and shapes in slices, chunks, or strips, and cook them differently to get multiple textures. You can add vegetables into the edge grids, while the hot central grid is more suitable for cooking ingredients that are easier to cook. Chongqing people use Sudoku hot pot to control the secret of temperature. Chongqing hot pot is made with specially cooked butter, stir-fried with chili, pepper, and other spices, and served with a spicy bone broth, which gives on an enticing aroma after boiled. Beef, cucumber, chicken gizzards, duck intestines, tripe, and other inexpensive ingredients are served together in the pot, bringing diners a treat on the tongue. One of the favorite ways for local diners to eat hot pot is to start with a handful of green onions and tender bean sprouts after the soup is boiled. These two ingredients can be neutralized with the butter, which stimulates the freshness and aroma of the ingredients, and then diners can begin to feast. The most popular food is the tripe, and sliced pieces of tripe are widely served in all hot pot restaurants of Chongqing. Tripe is kept fresh in the ice and torn into slices, which makes them crispier. The chef then cut them into sizes suitable for one bite to be served on the table. The uneven surface of tripe slices absorbs the soup easily, making it hot, crispy, and full of fresh flavor. Brains are a less popular ingredient, but are favored by local people of Chongqing. The food is made up of fat and protein and has the texture of a sponge, so it is boiled slowly in the four-cornered grid for half an hour before ready. The cooked brains shrink and become even tougher, absorbing various aromas and spices, making it fragrant and melt in the mouth. Sesame oil, the most important spice in Chongqing's hot pot dishes, is perfect when mixed with garlic paste. The only choice for most Chongqing residents. It is standard procedure for local diners to take out food from the hot spicy soup and place them in a bowl of garlic paste and sesame oil. As the soup dries up, diners tend to pick up a teapot from the table and pour the tea into the hot pot without asking for waiter's help. Chongqing hot pot has a history of less than 200 years, but it has already become one of the most distinctive symbols of Chinese cuisine. And both first-time visitors and Chongqing natives are always exploring for the best local hot pot restaurants. In the boiling aroma of spicy hot pot, Chongqing people's passion for life is fully expressed.